And we're back from break. Beer's been got, the dog has been walked, and Travis has set up a way to kill us all. Yes. Yay. Well, several. Several. <laughs> it was a productive break. So, uh, I think that um, Durian was about to go up and give a little performance, was he not? Yeah, I think we got back to the roasting quail, and I yep. asked, you know, asked the... Uh, I wait till it gets a little more crowded and ask the bartender's sure. permission, of course, and then go up to perform. So you yeah. go right ahead. So is it going to be duet time? Dance? No, well, I don't invite <laughs> you to duet, but I, I do uh, <laughs> break like, out no. my flute to play that first. Okay, very good. So you start playing your flute, and it sounds a little something like this. Oh, Travis, you're awesome. <laughs> da. Uh, if it actually no, sounds like that, so upset. If, if it actually sounds like that, I'm actually gonna stand up because I'm going to dance. Actually, yeah, <laughs> why don't you roll yeah. your check right now while it's going? <laughs> oh. Uh, I didn't see it. Crap! Oh my god! It's like he's squeaking on the notes, and um, it's just it's not good. He wow. stops fairly quickly, I assume. Yeah. Like, like your flute is obviously out of tune. It's gotten wet. You're gonna have to clean it out and uh, I, not and it. yeah, clean it off a bit. Um, <laughs> Did Jimmy like leave? Oh no, he's just Sorry. like on the floor probably. We were all basically just like this. Oh, man. Guys, why? Why is stupid handwriting? You're literally <laughs> the worst bard. You're the worst bard. <laughs> I've got this huge <laughs> check bonus, plus 11. <laughs> He's really good in battle, or just the performances, man. <laughs> if I can eat groups of six people as an audience to do well in a performance. Oh, I am not, I had a great poem pick. I'm not even going to read it now. I don't think they would appreciate I would get such a oh. minus, it wouldn't matter. Uh... No. Okay, so I say I stop and I say, friends, apparently my my flute is quite out of tune. I apologize for that horrendous squealing. Perhaps the music of my voice could be better for you. But they're Wouldn't like, be much worse. <laughs> that that is absolutely true, sir. You have a future as a bard or perhaps a comedian. I'm just a should have insulted him and called him a jester. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, so I, I take a moment, I sip my drink. Okay, you take a moment and sip your drink. And then I begin <laughs> to recite actually a poem that I say, Durian says that he wrote, but it's actually by William Butler Yeats. So. Nice. They say, I went out... I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread. And when white moths were on the wing and moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire aflame, but something rustled on the floor and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair, who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Though I am old with wandering through hollow hills and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone, and kiss her lips and take her hands, and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done, the silver apples of the moon and golden apples of the sun. All right, hopefully that goes a little better for you. Roll a performance <laughs> check. I can't watch. The cut watch. Double ones. Nineteen. Nineteen. That's better. So better. That's, yeah, it's it's better than an average performance. You you get a, a polite clap and you know, people seem to to enjoy it. Do they forget about the flute playing? For the moment, yes. I'm not sure I'd try it again. No, I I would not. I. I look sadly at my flute, I give a bow, and I go find the bartender. Cool. couple people buy you drinks and say they liked your uh, performance. Thank you, friends. It's I'm sorry to have ruined the ears. 
for with my flute, but oh, not the at heart all. is not always on. <laughs> not at all. You should get that tuned, though. It, yeah. Well, I'll take a look at it tonight. It's just the tuning, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. The cool. You make what'd you roll? Nineteen. 19. Pretty good. Nineteen. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> you you earn a silver. I yeah. buy apparently... cheap. I buy cheap booze with it. <laughs> buy cheap. Booze. Very good. Oh dear. So upon seeing what was a train wreck and a better performance, I am going to now head up to where you do performance and stuff, and I'm going to do a dance. Cool. Just because I haven't done one yet. <laughs> You see, uh, dance. <laughs> you see some interested looks from a few of the male patrons. <laughs> <laughs> they appear ready to watch you dance. Uh, I'm going to try to think. Do I want to do Irish Jig, the Macarena? I'm trying to think of like, what's an actual appropriate Irish thing. Jig, the Macarena. Or, or, or a D&D setting. I didn't actually think about this when I chose it. Well, you're going to you're gonna have to dance on, on stream, too, to, to show what you do. Uh, that's not going to happen, because... <laughs> You can. Have, you don't have to don't dance. Know. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> for, for, so, just, uh, just for a bonus. Just for a bonus. So I guess a classical type dance of the olden day, where it's like you do spinning and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to be a whirling dervish? I have no idea. I didn't actually do much consideration when I took dance. You uh, I you, have to you, you shake your bomb bomb, shake your bomb bomb. <laughs> Spin twelve. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, you make ten times as much as Darian. Oh. Yeah. Uh, ten times yeah. one is still not that much silver. Yeah, so you you make ten silver, and uh, you're you're getting some attention from a few of the uh, male patrons. They uh, say, "Oh, come here, come here, honey. Let me buy you a drink." Yeah. Uh, what do you like? Whiskey, That's not what you like. Like. Whiskey, maybe a little ale. Like, so when that starts happening, I'm going to like quickly like look around. Look at Kamer, it's like, I'm coming, honey! And we basically run to his side, <laughs> trying okay. to get away from these guys. I'm literally using Kamer as a scapegoat to get away from him. <laughs> awesome. Kamer, you, you now have Nina kind of wrapped on your arm, and you're, I assume, your usual oblivious mm, He's pr- looking a bit more awkward than oblivious at this point. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, what, what, why, are you, why are you doing this? Why are you doing Kamen's this? like... Okay, what's a... What's a Bad stairs. <laughs> bad man. Bad touch. Bad touch. Okay, so you you go running back to Cabin, and your uh, <laughs> potential suitors get the point. Cool. Whoosh. Oh, I didn't think that one through. <laughs> Very noted, Travis, for future. Yes. You, well, you're an attractive young woman. Keep this in mind, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Noted for the future. Hilarious to hear, though. Keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Dude, dance as if you do it. Good. Cool. So, do you guys do anything else, or just kind of pass the time? Uh, probably pass the time. Awesome. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, you guys uh, wake up the next morning, and what would you like to do? No, I guess uh, do we talk about the red dragon thing before we do the magical shop antics and then back to what's her name? Yep. So uh, yeah, basically. Over fine breakfast and yes, I say well. What do we think, guys? Um, do we want to try to attempt audience with the the boss? I I I do not. Nina, Nina can hold her own. She's got a good head on her soldiers, if you don't mind me saying, Nina. But I, I don't think you've been with us for the full time and can tell the tale as one of us could. And among us, I imagine. Well, you and I both met with the. Uh, met with them. I think we should make our decision them. independent of what what the king has to say. I personally would have. A yeah. hard time having charitable words with the nobility at this well, point. Guys, I haven't been with you and see if you have issues, but I'm going to ask you this question flat out. Why are you here? I. What is your purpose? That's the big question, right? I mean, why are any of us here? 
But no, I mean, at first it was to a god with some cosmic plan, or are we just? <laughs> He's actually going for me into the court. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna be technical about it, I came to this. I came seeking aid from someone I knew to be a strong fighter who could win me coin and, or rather, could uh, aid me in coin. And that person was Orin. And he's gone now, but since then our purposes have shifted, and this is a profitable and good venture. But I, 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 it's not so much that I have a better plan than attempting the impossible, but I see it as difficult, if not impossible. We, we have a fighter, clearly strong, Nina, but you are young, and you have not perhaps seen the, uh, the the challenges that we have already faced in even a few months together. And uh, we'll need every bit of luck and strength to be able to take on this beast. Mm -hmm. well, she did, is, she why survive her, yeah, her village right here in this town. Like, this problem has nothing to do with you. You could simply go north and leave. My question is, why are you here? Why are you still here? Well, I'm here because we had business in town that we're going to settle today, and we could easily just throw our finger to the DM gods and head out west, you know, to the north. The DM gods? Is that like something like Cool Animal or it's something? A say, it's, a saying of, it's a saying of bards. Worry not. <laughs> My point is, like... If we do something, you should do it for yourself, not for nobility, not for something else. Do it for you. Well, personally, I do things for my god. What is your heart? And oh, also yeah. myself. That's understandable, but you know what I mean. Like, you don't do it for someone else. Do it for yourself. Caben, you are a man of fewer, fewer words, but your head's usually in a good place. What do you think? Well, that looks like a good apple, Caden. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about this apple, Darian. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, it's Dragon. Um, I think. I think it would benefit us a great deal if we were, if you're part of the party to assault it and end up killing it. Um, it's it's that risk we want to take, and I would be willing. To take part of that risk, if uh, we had a a band of people to go with us, whether it's all of us and whatever her name was, Mizuki, Mizuti, Mizuti. You guys um, always mispronounce them. Arg! <laughs> Don't make it well, maybe you need to like oh, write them out for us. Maybe. Or Joslyn, or something if like that. If everyone's name was John, it'd be a lot easier. It started that way in the first session. <laughs> oh, I spelled it right. You guys I gave me credit it for that, right too. <laughs> um, See, I, I even spelled that. Yeah, if we, have right. a, if we have a party with us with, uh, with Mizuti and maybe a few other glory hunters that we can uh, put to the front of the lines. Um, well, let's, let's, call the glory, let's call other people to join us bonus because right now I think that our... Our coin is low, low enough, or at least mine is, to be able to afford the cost of I think we could uh, find of mercenaries. one or two more people, and not that we could well, hire them, but... The... Ignore the mercenaries, Mr. Dorian. You said you and this man, so I'm sorry I never got the chance to meet, went, went through a lot of deal. Sure, you've helped people. Maybe they'll be willing to help you back. Perhaps. That would take some good bit of traveling, but it... It does point to the benefits, perhaps, of approaching the king or his uh, his uh, brother. Yeah, I... to to perhaps. In fact, it might be it might speak to, if possible, seeking an audience with Prince Louis, because I think he would be of a better mind, and the king would probably want his fighters to be. Available to you know whatever battles they have in mind or something. I said I think cough, I'd, cough, I'd be willing to take a bit, take a part of this risk. <laughs> I think the payoff is better, and Lord Ragnos 
Iron Shield, I think his name was, right? Sights. Iron Sights. That was close. Yeah, pretty uh, He did say, he, he, he did advise us that seeking out a, uh, seeking to defeat this dragon would be earn the, earn the good uh, favor and good opinions of a nation, which is something that I, maybe even for vain reasons, that's something that I would like to have. I admit it, Amareth. My 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 uh. Am I shocked? Motives, no. Motives <laughs> motives are not more than personal or what amongst the group. So well, everyone's motives, motives are, are what's good for as us as and myself. Reason, it's more than enough. As long as you do this for the right reason, I will follow. Fuck it. Let's go slay a dragon. I mean, I'm completely okay with this. I don't think that it should continue living for much longer. And if we have people to help us, I'm fine with going on with this quest. Would everyone be fine or think we can do this quest without having other people, say, besides <laughs> Masudi? Let's, let's, well, uh, let's hunt around and see if we can find some others. If it's just yes, us, I, th I think we should perhaps try and rally a few troops. I Maybe think... not all the troops, but... Uh, I'm with you. I put my hand in the middle. Uh, uh, perhaps, the we can, <laughs> perhaps we can find... Uh, oh. oh god, what are their names? Uh, shit, the Grail. Nephany. Oh, no. Nephany yeah. and Tarius. Tarius and Nephany? Do, do you they're, think they're wandering around here in Platinum still somewhere? I think their diplomatic mission continues and they would be loath to leave it. Yeah. yeah. You know, Darian. I would say this is pretty important. I mean, they could become heroes we more could, so than they already them. are. We could approach them. Darian, did you uh, did you talk here before he left? Did Grimgar tell you where he was going? No, to his family, I imagine. I just, it is their lands that the dragon and lizard men have taken back. I don't know if I mean. These goblins and orcs were moving around. Perhaps if we were to run into someone, they would be somewhat interested in having their minds back. I am. Goblins are cowardly creatures by nature, and we have to meet with a semi intelligent one, and I am not in a position to trust orcs at this point. Not that you're. You know, common enemies make strange, strange bedfellows, but I don't know about that. Well, I would agree with you, but I've. Me and Grimgar perhaps changed my attitude towards all goblins, I guess. Not all goblins, but um, it seems there's, it seems there's some in there that are more intelligent than others. I'd rather not have to do play diplomacy with with ogres and goblins and orcs and seek them out and hope we get their ear and can convince them, but perhaps on this quest we're talking about we will be able to come across them and sway them to contribute in some way. If we run into them again. But I think I think uh, if everyone contributes and you know goes and talks talks to the right people in the city, perhaps we could gather some more followers. Who knows? Perhaps we could. Perhaps maybe we can convince a cleric or two. Um to join us, maybe. What, what do you think? Of, what do you think the clergy would say at the uh, Temple of Corallon? Your man friend. Ah, uh, Sebastian. Wait, I have to be even in blackness. Everyone has friends, Nina. Is it a boyfriend? Uh, I, I don't know. No, I don't know. He's talkative. Um, <laughs> he's very talkative. <laughs> You know what they say about fast talkers. I don't know what they say about them, and I don't want to know either, Dorian. Oh. She resists oh. your charms once again. <laughs> oh, Rebastian. Cool. Yeah, so. Stupid Hand said that I bet Nina could get some recruits with just a few sways of her hips. So go ahead, <laughs> Nina. Her underage hips, stupid and. <laughs> I don't think hey, she's underage hey, in this day. In, in the medieval world, she'd probably have a kid by now. If, True. Yeah, you know, True. minus the amnesia part. So. <laughs> Maybe she does. Maybe yeah, she, does. she might. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't think <laughs> I'll, 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 No. 
It's okay. I'll do roll. Yeah, I'll roll, do roll for kids. <laughs> oh god, no. In the meantime, <laughs> I don't do want to do. This is not just my decision. I told you I'm conflicted, and I would rather the group form a consensus, and I won't go along with that. So, let's go, Kimmel Dragon. Put my hand in the middle. I looked at her hand, confused. Thank you, Nyba. Yeah. It's a it's a custom. It's a custom from the uh, north uh, eastern part of this country, Amrith. You put your hand in to show agreement and a oh. celebration of sorts. Well, that's weird, but I, I, I put my hand in anyways and do whatever they do. Gaben? Nobody? If Nobody? We're, if we're gonna, yeah, I'm in. If we're going to do this, I'll help. Gaben's, like, eating the apple with one hand, putting the other hand in. <laughs> All right. I put my hand in and say, well, we, we, here we go. <laughs> oh boy! We can always, you know, I hate to put a little like damper on this already, but if things look too bleak, we could always, you know, head to the north. The north is always waiting for us, and mysteries undiscovered yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get I'd like to take a moment to prepare for this. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting us to go fight the dragon this session, so I didn't quite uh, get to Well, who oh, knows if we're well, this session. You don't get know. It. I will say, Amrith, don't, don't uh, trouble yourself yeah. too much. I think we're okay. going to need to track down help and see if we can gather more to our okay. our bannerless group here. Yes, the red okay. dragon's going to come to promote the city and challenge us right now. Did Ready your weapon. Do we still want to check out the rift beforehand as well? I would uh, like to. I don't think we'll get a chance yeah. if we're taking with us. I agree, I understand Nina, but I still think that there is information we can gather there, or at least well, I mean it, I, don't, I don't think it is beneficial to approach, can you show us the Platinus map, Travis? Sure, absolutely I'm saying if Mizuri is coming with us because we accept this we can't we always sidetrack, we don't have to go with her Party she says NPC. Go. Yeah, it's, part of the, it's part of the quest, it's Lizardmen if we can she find clues Lizardmen there it's their defeat, that would be helpful or a weakness, or something. I think I, I I am fain to head directly west on the road from Platinus, and perhaps right into Cobalt-controlled territory. Or worse yet, to approach and have to deal with answering questions to the armies, which are probably along the border roads. So I thought I think heading to the Rift before heading south west again. I mean, I don't know. About, but it'll give us time to prepare. Uh, for example, I'm not saying we should come back here, but Llewellyn is already two or three weeks back ordered on mm. materials that would be helpful for something that breeds fire. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not against going to the Rift, but I'm saying Mizuti is going to have a say, and if Mizuti says we've got to head straight for the Trolls and Dragon, we don't, we don't really have much choice in that. My sense of Mizuti well, She's going to have to calm herself. Why would she dictate what we do? So well, I... She's not going to come with us. First of all, Nina, he or she, she, and you don't want to insult her. I'm saying, Wait, if what? we sidetrack, you'll leave. He was just saying, he, we don't want to blame but Anyway, but I will, I will say this. I took a read on Mizuti. It wasn't a very good one, but more motivates her than desire to just hunt a dragon for finishing the job. There's something like that, something like revenge burns in her eyes. Something of an anger that's beyond just the need to put down evil. I so I, I think I think I think she will. Uh, I think she is a patient person who's clearly tracked this beast a long time, and her patience will hold yet, especially with a party of willing and able-bodied compatriots. Well, we should do what we need to do in town then. Fair. Perhaps. Fair. By the way, out of character, did anyone take the leadership feat? Did anyone end no. up doing that? No, you no, guys no. never uh, talked to me about bitches. it. you yeah, bitches. Um, I, I, really, I really couldn't with... The, I'm behind yeah, on yeah, already yeah. with I the was tempted, but feet. Well, I have amnesia. It's not going to really do much for me at the moment. Yeah, really? yeah I, I, people... I think you actually used... Uh, well, maybe you didn't. No, you didn't use Great Cleave. Um, so, Allison, we can talk about it on the next break. 
Okay. But you would have to make sure, or, you know, between sessions, whatever, but you'd have to make sure you don't use whatever the meta magic thing you took at level 6 Yeah, that's fine. And you haven't yet, so... We can, we can discuss I, it. I, Last time out of, out of game, I think someone in the party should take it. I was going to, then it, it, it runs into issues with amnesia. I'm going to create a small yeah. following of Coralon. <laughs> of cult oh. members. Yes, yeah. I'm going to start my own um, cult. What, what, what did I, mean, I take? I took, if, um... if you guys are okay with it, uh, Amareth could take it right now. Yep, done. Absolutely. And it, it is one not. per the party. You if can't she wants to. If she wants to. Yeah. Yeah, she no, wants Allison to Allison would... Do it alive, oh, okay. whatever. Okay. Whoever Allison is. <laughs> well, because I'm talking to the player, not the character. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Okay. So okay. I will say... So I'll say to Amrith, go... Um, all right. Sorry, Travis, go ahead. I, go I literally said jazz hands. Go ahead. Um, okay, no, I... <laughs> I we, Kaben and I have an errand, and Nina, you're free to join us if you'd like, but we have an errand again with Llewellyn... But uh, why don't we split up about the city quickly and see if we can... Gaben and I and perhaps Nina will go try and seek a time that the Prince Louis can make for us. And uh, I think you should approach the Temple of Corlon and see what you can gather there in terms of information and perhaps advice and followers. Uh, that is something that I'll definitely look into, Durian. Mm. I'll see right. if I can get someone to uh, to help us out in our, our quest to uh, kill a dragon. Nina, do you have <laughs> someone else who should be going about town to seek seek uh, compatriots in this? Uh, I could go with uh, MRF to the temple, I guess. Like We just have shopping to do. So. So. It, would, it would save us having to answer for you, not that there's any problem, but at least... Cabin and I had already been in to see the uh, the King's brother, so... Uh-huh. I'm not a big fan of oil Actually, anyway, Cabin didn't, didn't but Cabin had seen this king. Um, so why don't we say in the evening time we will re- return to the Hanging Man and we'll speak to Mizuti. Perhaps this time we should do a duet. Perhaps. Perhaps. Combine our powers, however the hell that works. With our powers combined, I'll have to be <laughs> Captain Planet. <laughs> I am definitely, I am definitely fire, not earth or heart. Wind. No one wants I to guess, be heart. I guess I, I would be. probably heart, be heart though, because I like heal people and things. Yep, you could totally be heart. <laughs> <sighs> cool. So you guys <laughs> split up. Um, Caben and Durian, you're heading to the shops first or to the castle? Uh, I, I think. Them, by shops the way. First. So, so no. So I'm, I say to, I say to Caben, I say let's go. You, I'll have to think about a way, but I let's go s- try and seek a time when we can see Prince Louis, and then we'll uh, head over to the shops because I don't think he'll see us immediately. Just, I'm gonna join you guys. Please do. Instead okay. of praying. Well, so you're all going then. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, we all we all I'll, have. I'll pray later to, um, and stuff. Recruit and things. Uh, yeah. oh. So, I, I I might I don't actually Jimmy doesn't know what to do. So I'm can I make a <laughs> knowledge nobility check to see about the best way to seek audience with. Yeah, things? you have knowledge nobility. Yeah, I do. Cool. Yeah, make a roll. Sixteen. You really? know that you should probably go to the castle and seek an audience with the prince and okay. tell him who you are, and they will tell you whether or not oh. it's granted. Okay. Also, real quick, um, yes. speaking of of nobility and things, is there a way that I could like send a raven back home to get proof that I am of noble birth from where I'm from in Meridian. You can. You can send a message. Um, since it's so distant, uh, raven wouldn't, ravens wouldn't be a good idea. You'd have to send it by uh, messenger pony, basically. And pony um, The Pony Express. The, basically, yes. It would be the Pony Express. And okay. it would cost some coin. Some significant oh, how coin much coin? Long distance. I'll have to do some calculation. But uh, continue on with the rest of your... Damn it, all the hell. <clears throat> so I say, let's go to the castle. If if you all don't mind, 
perhaps Amrath and I will take the lead on this and just stand by. I, I have a hopefully a, the best way in mind to get to the prince's ear. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't have someone that looked just like Prince Orin. Mm. If, well, we were considering if, we were on a, if we were on a different task, perhaps I could help with that, but... <laughs> oh, God, if you impersonate Orin, you're going to have me. <laughs> That's what I wanted. <laughs> I just want to see that. I I, 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 I've warned you before about parodies of impressive league royalty. Yeah. You, you, the player? Josh, uh, Adam Durian? Dog. Durian does whatever he wants. Jimmy doesn't <laughs> even like what he does sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of my control. <laughs> I thought your character was very, very streetwise and wanted to live. So, uh, we go to the castle, to the the palace or whatever, and to okay. wherever the front door is, where there yeah, are maybe so while you get up to the gate and you, uh, uh, t you know, go up to one of the royal guards and he says, "Can I help you, sir?" So yes, my name is. My name is Durian the Bard, and uh, we seek... We're not taking any performances today. Sir, <laughs> me and my group, we seek an audience with Prince Lewis um, mm -hmm. on information of the death of Prince Oren Barton. I see. You were a friend of his? We were followers and compatriots of his, yes. Um... Okay, uh, the prince has already been informed of his death. Uh, uh, myself and the prince had actually had an audience with uh, Prince Louis, and we established a rapport, and he had actually had us on a task, and I bring some information on that task, and some of the, perhaps a more personal narrative of the prince's final, final uh, minutes and hours. All right, well, I can... Um... Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send a messenger and ask if the prince will grant you an audience. Boy, come down here. Shall we? Shall, shall we wait here, sir? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um. And he summons down a squire and and tells him to go in and ask if the prince will see you. Um. So boy runs in. You. I assume you make small talk with the guards or whatever. Yes. Well, Sorry, I don't try. Okay. I don't try and bother the royal guards, but yes, uh, they're literally standing. That they talk to you. They're okay. Shit. They're standing. <laughs> yeah, there. I, I, I make the most like nice weather we're having. Yeah, 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 it's it's How been uh, fairly there? warm. It's hasn't uh, hasn't been much below freezing the last few nights. You know, the roads are getting a little slushy. Yada yada. <laughs> anyway, the uh, the squire comes back about I don't know ten fifteen minutes later and out of breath and says the, the prince will grant an audience later today if <clears throat> if that would work need uh you need more running training squire <laughs> yes uh, it appears the prince will grant you an audience can you come back this afternoon yes sir absolutely shall we meet you here is that the best yes yes i will let you in thank you friends okay can we depart thank you very much sir to other errands. I I look at I look at the party and said, "Yeah, told you I had to wait in." <laughs> I could have done that. Caven thinks to himself. <laughs> <laughs> he just is like, "I could have done that." <laughs> yeah, could've, anyone could have done that. Yeah. Caven's so upset he goes outside and rolls in dirt or something. <laughs> That's just what I imagine him doing. <laughs> Okay, I just imagine Caven is being so scruffy that he's just like, when he gets bored, he's just like, <laughs> he's down in the dirt. dirt. He's, like, he's I don't know like why. a horse, he just coats himself with yes. dust. Like, that's how I imagine Caven for some reason. When he gets bored or like he's in like cities for too long, he needs to like reacquaint himself with nature, so he goes out he and grabs a few leaves and just rubs them on his face. In your head, am I, am I pig pen from the peanuts? Is that yeah. not, not quite as dirty. He just likes Earth so much that he rolls around in dirt. He needs to get the commoner off him and get the nature back on him. He's, like that's he's how a I ranger, see. Ranger, he's not a druid. <laughs> I know, but I see he seems to really be earthy. So it's, you know, it comes from a more sense range. of uncaring either way than than actively either way. I guess. 
He also doesn't care about like cleaning himself, so that's also why I imagine him. Okay, he's kind of like Pigpen. Yeah, we'll he's just probably. go with that. You know what? No, what he's not. He's like Pigpen. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does. He doesn't have flies swirling uh, around his head or whatever. Haven's gonna go take a bath. <laughs> For the might first time, might, tired it might be a good idea if you're meeting the prince. Caven, you go and take a bath. The rest of you, you head to Llewellyn's. You no, like no, no, no. I want to go to Good enough. <laughs> okay. You guys right. are now at Llewellyn's shop. Uh, I we go in. Excellent. Ah, yes, sir. <laughs> that uh, that poultice will serve you very well. Ah, hello again, friends. One moment, I'm just finishing oh. something up. Thank you, Llewellyn. We'll just be over here. Ah, yes. So, um, cool. So he works with uh, another customer for a while, and then uh, quickly oh, bustles over to you guys oh, when he's done. Ah, hello again, friends. I have some very interesting news. Um, first of all, your axe. It is a moderately enchanted weapon. It will strike with great power and accuracy. That's another way of saying it's a plus two great axe. Mm-hmm. Damn. Well, I reminded me, we think I could use this to some effect. And realize that that would be a plus one bonus. <laughs> what I would normally be rolling because of... True, but it's also a magic weapon. It's fancy, motherfucker. Take it. Yeah. Well, so I he say... tells you that and says, if you're still interested, I would be more than happy to buy this from you, and uh, especially to use it for payment on the other little task I performed. Um, Would you want to step with me into a uh, private showing room? I, I think you'll <laughs> like to hear what I have to say. Ooh. Excellent. Martin, Martin, I'll be back in a sec. Wait, uh, wait on the rest of these customers. No, Roland and Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and um, cool. So he steps back to uh, a more private room, and you see some shelves with some things on, and says, "Please sit down, sit down," and uh, directs you to a rather comfy couch, and says, "This, this is an interesting little piece, I must say. I translated it, and um." Well, it took a bit of spell work, I'm not going to lie. There was some enchantment on it to, uh, well, to keep its message from being revealed. Interesting. Why don't I read you what it says? <clears throat> in the arid, drying lands of Shumira, more than sand in the desert air spins, tales are told of ancient magic and power contained within the house of the winds. If you dare to brave the glaring sun with its dangers of time and sand and dust, to acquire those powers which are beyond you, for four earthly elements are a must. A bowl of life, ever flowing, a file of death, an end most unfair, a cup of vitality, the beat not slowing, a ringlet of metal, Light as the air. Present your gifts, but heed this warning. You cannot count on others to keep you alive. Only one may enter to face the trials, and under the desert sun, only the strong survive. What the hell is this? <laughs> it is the uh, the inscription that was on the enchanted tablet. And uh, here you guys go for the exact text. Oh, oh God, that's terrible. I'll post it in... Oh, God. I'll yeah. post it in... <laughs> chat. Um, there we go. Oh, no. You can always have it in the journal thing. Yeah, yes, no. I will add that as well. I Actually, I might have a journal entry already. No, I don't, but I'll add it there. So, cool. Um, Durian thinks to himself, win. Fuck the dragon, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> We already agreed. <laughs> agreed amongst ourselves. We can change our minds. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I copy pasted from this and it posts your like icon into the into the notepad, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, so I have it under mysterious tablet. You should be able to pull up the text in kind of a nicer form to read. So yes, this seems to Point to some power, some magical power. Fascinating. Do you have any ideas about what it... Where the lands... Mm. Do I know where the drying lands of Shumira are, Travis? Uh, why don't you tell me what knowledges you have? Bardic knowledge! <laughs> I have bardic knowledge. I also have geography. Geography would be better. Why don't you roll me geography? 
And actually, I should roll for Llewellyn. Oh, okay. 22. Pretty good. 22. You've heard of Legends of Shumira being a desert ruin, but 22 is not enough to know where they are. Llewellyn says, I'm, I'm not... I've heard some tales of Shumira before, but I couldn't point you in the right direction, I'm afraid. You'd need to find some kind of expert on these type of things. Also, I, I can't say I've ever heard of the House of the Winds. And neither have any of you. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, and you've given me a very interesting puzzle to mull over. Yes, yes, I must say I'm quite interested myself. In fact, I would be willing to buy this tablet off of you. I don't know if there's any further enchantment on it. I couldn't detect anything, but there might be a clue here. I, of course, am... Well, I'm quite interested in magical abilities, and certainly, if you're not going to pursue this, I certainly might. I have to say, Llewellyn, that this this we're gonna pursue it. <laughs> I have to say, this you know, sound good. I could use that. This um, this strikes a chord, a, a personal chord of mine. Ah, understandable, understandable. So, it is, of I, course, that said, yours. That said, my uh, work is cut out for me, so I would be very, it would be very dear to me to part with it, but... I see. But I'm willing to entertain an offer. <laughs> well, I mean, I... <laughs> in casting the spells for you, I, of course, already have the inscription. My memory is quite good. Um, but I'd still be willing to give you, uh, 500 gold for it. Well, and this, the cost of you deciphering this is worth far more to me than I would want to make that back up and giving it to you, so I think for that I will hang on to it. Uh, well, understandable, understandable. Perhaps we shall be rivals in a great quest. Hmm. Oh, dear. Perhaps. But I have my work cut out for me here, so I'm sure you'll get the jump on me. Come back for season two, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know about season two, guys. <laughs> yeah. cool. um, so you, uh, you guys have the inscription. So um, I, I ask. I ask Llewellyn while we're still in private. I say, and what uh, what of the axe? How much do you think you would take that for? Because I do have an interest in selling it. Ah, well, if none of you are going to use it, I would be, well, I would be willing to give you, we'll say, four thousand gold, and that's on. We'll say the uh, the translation is already factored in. You did help me out with the potions, so. And you we'll do have you do have that excellent memory of yours, Llewellyn. Very excellent. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, I'll go consult quickly, but I think we we have a trade. Of course, of course. So I go back to the group. I mean, you were all in there, I assumed. I no, you thought I thought it was private. I, yeah, I thought yeah, you private like that. you're out. You're away from all the other customers, is what I meant. Oh, all right, I it's, it was up, it's up to you guys. There. Were you in there with me? Cause yeah, you yeah. tell me. I mean, I would have been doing when you whatever said, you were doing. When you said I, it, it so sounded like it was for Durian, but if if he was motioning all of us, I would have followed. Yeah, yeah. I, I I meant it as he motioned all of you into the room. Yeah, I would have gone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. would Durian have excluded? So I don't leave to rejoin them, and I say, friends, I. It it would pain me to have the, the, uh, this axe that's that contributed to the death of Orin in our possession, and I would make an argument that the funds are much more needed for us at this time. Well, how much was if, the axe? Please. Four thousand. I think we should get rid of the axe. I well, shouldn't know much about the axe. Just saying. Oh, I'm saying, um, if this axe killed a friend, perhaps you should trade it for something that would protect another. Okay. Get, do the reverse. That, that's what I basically would have said. It was used Josh, to kill a friend I, of I mean, it would give you, like, at a game, it would give you plus one, right? What? 
the, the axe. No, I'm not talking about the axe. I'm talking about trading in for the armor. <laughs> yeah, like, no, if, I'm if not. If killed a friend, then trade it in for something that would protect him. Amaret yeah. believes that we should not hold on to this and that we should get rid of it because it does not bode well with our party. And it moreover, I thing. just Very I would well. have lost most of my money to get this stuff identified, and yes. I need to recoup the costs. So. I must say, if you're willing to trade this in for another item I'm selling, I would be able to mm, toss another 150 gold on top of it towards a trade-in. 4150 total. Wow. I like to see my items move. Oh, you're just trying to tempt him with that plus two breastplate. Yes, damn it! <laughs> Is Lou that, Ellen, it, you know, Amaranth can wear the breastplate, too. Just saying. No, I'm just saying, right. Like, yeah, Amaranth has been with the party a lot get, longer than Nina. I say, well, Amaranth what Amaranth also it, saves all your lives often. Where is this magical item list? It's just uh, you can up. just scroll up. I say, yeah. uh, well, what of it, what of it, Amaranth? I mean, we're going to need funds for what we plan to do, so... You're going to need someone to take a beating from the dragon. <laughs> And you're going to need oh. someone to heal you when you're almost dead. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not talking about you should be the one in front of the dragon. I'm talking about I'll probably be the one in front of the dragon. Um, I'm semi-tanky. We, should, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't get in front of the dragon. That's not good. Sort of. Uh, perhaps I uh, should let you all discuss this? I think we've made our decision. I think we know what we want. Have we? Yes. We just don't know where it's going yet. <laughs> I see. Well, why don't we step back out to the front? Yeah, we'll, we'll go talk. Well, I'm sorry to keep you from your customers. Oh, not at all, not at all. Acquiring knowledge is always worth some time. Absolutely. Cool. So you guys head back out to the front, and he uh, takes the uh, shows you the axe uh, again, explains... Uh, what he found and tells you the deal again. Forty-one fifty towards a trade-in, four thousand even, if you uh, just want the cash. Let's, let's I say we just take the cash and go. We're gonna need potions. We're gonna need. Can we talk in Elvish for a moment um, and figure out what we're doing? Uh, one sec. I say you would remember. Uh, I remember that Llewellyn speaks all the languages I speak. Never mind. Actually, right. none of you remember that. So no, I, I Jimmy remembers that. Okay, I remember all that. right, fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Ahead I remember. Time. I, I remember dueling. I threw out a bunch of languages, and he even had ones that I didn't even know. So yes, I remember he, that. He yes, spoke. that's right. He did. He had he a super like, smart. like a fey language, like one of the fairy one languages. Sylvan. 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 Yes. It's okay, you guys can talk in Elvish if you wish. There's no point. <laughs> to exclude Nina, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> say your piece, Amber, in whatever play, language yeah. you choose. I would just say, what are what are we deciding on in Elvish, by the way? I would like to sell this for 4,000 gold and split it among the party. I need the money, personally, and I would rather spend in small increments rather than... I understand there's a benefit in stronger gear, but... I'm okay with this going to the benefit of all the party. We lost a friend to this, and I think that it should be split amongst us. Yeah, that was. Uh, I wasn't proposing to keep the four thousand for myself. Certainly. Not. I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone die? You did. Roll forty-six uh, K three <laughs> six times. <laughs> no. Uh, you guys want to reiterate that for Kevin quick? Kevin, I, I said uh, we said I said that I propose splitting, taking the four thousand, splitting it equally amongst the party. I wouldn't keep it for myself, and unless there's a really good argument for one person gaining a piece of armor, I, I have no money otherwise. Yeah. I mean, I am. In terms of like the altruistic Jimmy for the health of the party, I see it totally because I don't care about imaginary gold, but Durian is feeling the emptiness of this person. Play your characters. I yeah. like it. <laughs> Durian's like, I'm broke as fuck! Help, <laughs> I need if, money! <laughs> if we do get a... If we're trading in, gets a plus towards... I mean, it seems like the, this breastplate is the only thing that, uh... within our, within our range. Ah, yes! This breastplate! And he oh, brings so it out much. to you, actually. I didn't think he was there. <laughs> His okay. ears are very good. Oh, they're good. I, like, a, like a true salesman, he would. 
So. Yep, he brings but, it out and starts showing it to you. Oh, look at the easily adjustable uh, belts for sizing. It would fit any one of you. Though, of course, you need to be uh, trained in this type of armor. Uh, has a moderate magical enchantment, so it will help uh, help avoid quite a few blows. Basically cool. explaining that it's plus two breastplate. Yeah, yeah. So I am. Um, I say I would. If you think the I, money, the money is outstrips this, but if we're, I mean, it, it would be one person getting it if we were to do. This. I would. I would. I would see trading this in for one breastplate for perhaps one of us to wear. Not me, and probably not you, Cabe. And judging by your your lightness. your battle choices, but <laughs> I will say that I would have to ask the party to contribute to my. Deciphering of the tablet. Well, mm. I just look at all of them as they talk in old version and it's gonna be like, uh, how much is the tablet deciphering? I, <laughs> I could, I would definitely be willing to pitch in if we were to go this, do this route and do this quest. But as of right now, it's just something you picked up and found out. Something that is great power that could benefit all of us. Absolutely, and if we go down this road, I would be more than willing to reimburse you for part of the quest and for the the prices that we got this far, but right now it's... I just, what I'm feeling I like we out need to do some things to help some people for money is how I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to give away our money. I don't know. I don't want to give away our money. I'm saying we need to make more money. How are we yes, going to fight a dragon in the state that we're in? Well, is that is this immovable rod? Do you think the you think the breastplate will aid ah, us? Ah, yes, this immovable rod, a very interesting oh. item. So, what you do is you grab it, you press the button, and he lets go of it, and it literally hangs in the air. And he pushes against it. You can see his arm actually straining, and the rod does not move in the air. He clicks the button again and pulls it down and says, "You try it. You try it." Yeah, I actually grabbed the rod. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's handing it to Caben. Let Caben uh, do stuff. Don't take the rod out of my hands, man. Caben <laughs> <laughs> grabbing his rod, bro. Caben's <laughs> <laughs> very curious. He, he he tries it out. Okay, so you kind of hold the rod. You click the button and you you can't move it in the air. It's, all right, it's not it's moving. Just, uh, you let go of it and it just hangs there in the air. You kind of hit it a few times, you click the button, and it just comes loose. Kaben tries to do a... Fine party trick, tries Luella. Tries to pull up on this, on this bar. Sure, <laughs> so you click the button and get both hands on it, and you do a couple chin-ups. Wow, this isn't very interesting alone. Yes, yes. I would recommend getting two of them. You can use them for climbing. You know, click, immovable, click, click, click. Works very well. One would be extremely difficult to use by itself. They're hmm. five thousand gold a piece. If I had the coin, maybe. Ah, well, something to keep in mind. The someday, Llewellyn. Someday. Yes, yes, they're useful items. Can't guarantee they'll be here forever. But who knows? Who knows? Okay. Travis, you're just torturing us. It's literally <laughs> like, I don't think there's ten thousand gold among the party. So. <laughs> Turn back no, to Durian and say. Money sounds good, breastplate sounds good. You guys decide. <laughs> I think Money it's up to Amrath and, frankly, Nina. Well, I'll, I'll say in Elvish that I am not sure about giving Nina something of such value when she's only been with us for so long. See, see Josh, you can't hold it against me. I gave you an opening. Well, Let's I'm saying... You. Well, I'm talking in Elvish. I, I just look at her I'm like... I, I know you I'm are. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, that, Josh? I, mean, I just look at her and you can see a tear coming down my face. You don't, well, you don't know what I'm saying, though. But... Uh, she's actually, a little bit of Elvish. Yeah, she knows Elvish. Elvish. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Elvish. Whatever, I'll just assume you don't know Elvish. I mean, I know you, but I don't know... I don't know you. She doesn't you. know you. I, honestly, Nina has been with the party for one, two, three, four days five at the most. Yes, exactly. So. I mean, would yes. would a party of adventurers really give a new companion such pricey armor when, you know, Amrith. obviously I've helped her in the past, but she could run away. Amrith, do you want this armor, or would you take the gold? I mean, I would happily take either of them. I mean, I could be more of the frontliner if need be, and still the healer, or I could 
take the money and use it on something else. It depends on what the party wants as well. What do we think would benefit us all? You know you, what? You're, I, I you've think benefited you us, uh, us, you know, ten times over for your, your, your in with your god. So I, it's up to you. You make the decision. Okay. Well, in that case, I think that 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 money would be the best because I think we all work well as a group. The three of us and now Nina to make things work, and I think we could all benefit, perhaps from the extra cash, as long as we're not spending it on crazy things like gambling. And I will promise not to donate it to my temple as much as I want to. Fair enough. One last thought. Yes. If you, Amrith, I would almost. I've kind of backtracked to. I know you said you think the money's better, but you having a breastplate would be. Inviable if you you are a healer, you are keeping our our party together. So one last thought. That's all. If, but the thing call. the thing is as well, Caven. Though I do tend to stay in in the back, and if I need to get in the front for a brief while, I can, or I can summon things to be in the front. So it's not. I feel like I can either be in the front or I can be in the back or somewhere in between. I feel like it's not as. If Arn were here, Arn would need it. Yeah, but Nina's yeah. here now, and we don't know Nina as well as we knew Arn. I no, I'm saying you should have the rest of No, I I see her point, David. What she's saying is yeah, that no, I, I understand. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I didn't mean to say you're useless without the breastplate or anything. Uh, oh, you don't. I'm not. Kidding. Oh, I know. I know. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> well, if, let's, if that's let's what get I, the money. That's what I Let's get the money. I think, I think we money. we tell Llewellyn thanks for the offer, but we're going to. Um. Ah, very well, very well. I I do have one more thing you might be interested in. I have another Game shirt of Mithril, if anyone would be interested. Cost. Well, it's the same as that's on there, 1,100 gold. Oh. And it is it provides 4 AC. It has a zero check penalty max dex of like 5 or 6. Its weight is only 10 pounds, and it would allow... Anyone who is encumbered by armor to not be encumbered by armor. Travis, anymore. can I wear two? You <laughs> cannot wear two. <laughs> so, uh, um, Amrith, does that interest you? What was the max dex? Uh, well, uh, higher than your current one is. Yeah, mine's only plus three. Yeah. It would so, just be it would just be less weight. It sounds like. Uh, it would be less weight, and you'd be able to move at thirty feet rather than twenty. I feel like that's not as important considering that I can summon things like monsters or weapons. Llewellyn, I will take Fair it. Fair enough. Ah, excellent, excellent. Oh. Well, were you apportioning the gold <laughs> evenly? Yes. Excellent. Well, I'll just keep your thousand, and if you uh, have another... You know what? You're buying something from me. I'll put the uh, the 150 I was going to toss on there toward that, and we'll say a thousand for each of the rest of the three of you. Is that how you're splitting it up? Yes. yes. Very good. And he bangs a thousand gold on the counter for uh, Nina, Caven, and Amber. This Amara. does benefit me, right, Travis? I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, absolutely. It should. You get. Let me I look both at the AC bonus, the weight bonus. You actually have a chain shirt right now. Yeah. Um. So it'll lower your armor check penalty to zero. It will take 15 pounds off your person. That's it totally will awesome. improve your max dex. Um, other than that, there's no real change, but it will be... It is uh, All mithril well, items are masterworks, so you can get it enchanted later. And mm. there will be a benefit when he does um, catch grace to himself. He will actually benefit from the extra AC. Because he'll be up to five out of six. Uh, yes, I've, I've been accounting for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I totally haven't, but that's all right. Uh, yes, you will get the full bonus from your spell, which I am now aware that you shouldn't have been getting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I, I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. So, so okay, on your armor, uh, there's a column for max dex. That's the maximum amount of your dexterity bonus you can put toward your AC. Is that so? That's under AC. It says total armor shield dex. Is that where it is? No, no. no. Under the armor slash protective item, where the chain shirt, where your actual armor is. Oh yeah. There's a max dex. Right. So when you use Cat's Grace, 
that takes you from a plus three modifier to a plus five, mm -hmm. you actually should have been only getting plus four because your armor limits your mobility. Mm. And I didn't realize this, so I've just been giving you the full bonus. Um, now I get the full bonus. That's okay. But now you would get the full bonus, and this can be enchanted as well. So, and so the, AC, the AC bonus... The AC would be the same. The weight would be 15 pounds lower. The check penalty would be zero, which means that whenever you roll a skill where that, that takes an armor check penalty, yeah, yeah. instead of two, you take zero to that. But my total AC would still be at 18, basically. It would. It would not change your total AC. Dang, okay. that's higher than me. And, and you would realize this since it's a chain shirt. You know it's just a lighter, enchantable, more easy-to-wear chain shirt. But a chain shirt... I would probably put my portion to this. That's fine. Cool. You buy it. Okay. And so that's... That will be... I'm at 506 gold... And you I owe now two two ten if he gave me the one fifty. What? So I owe three sixty that I haven't paid him yet. He told you that was taken off of trading in the axe. Yeah. Okay. So the four thousand was. Got it. Was straight so I'm up still gold. at five hundred gold basically. Yep. You you, no gold. You just don't get any gold from him. Got it. Yep. Sweet. That's a good deal. Yeah. Absolutely. And he only had one more, so <laughs> everyone else needs to <laughs> say it faster next time. Well, I I actually only yeah. stepped in because Lamar I don't is think a good salesman. Because yeah. Nina, I mean Josh, you didn't need it, did you? I mean we could take it. Would, it would lower Nina's AC with the armor she has. Uh, it lower it lower. Uh, oh okay. God. And, and I, I was lower. getting from you, Allison, okay. that you didn't want it. I wouldn't. I wasn't jumping in to like grab it. I was just. Oh, good. Yeah. Allison, yeah, okay. more armor. You're very squishy, my friend. Yep. And Allison, it would uh, basically it'd be lighter and let you move at 30 feet. Eh, it's it's not that important to me. I'll be fine. Yep. Okay. Cool. So you get that. Excellent. I'll figure and out then, other things to do. Yeah. Um. You've got his full list, so there's not a whole lot that a thousand gold will buy. No. Um. <laughs> He's got a few potions left uh, if you anyone wants there. them. Otherwise, you can check at other shops if you'd like. How much do you... How much does enchantments cost? Money. Uh, a thousand gold will get you a plus one shield or armor. What about for, like, <sighs> fire immunity? Hmm. Not, like, on a person, but, like, on a... No, on, on armor. You need... It needs to be at least a plus one shield or armor to get a special enchantment. Oh, okay. So you need a thousand gold for at least a plus one, and then whatever the other enchantment costs. Okay, okay. when we need to do some quests. Yeah, yeah. I was because I had well, I had a masterwork shield. I wasn't sure how the extra stuff works. Uh, yeah. well, the masterwork shield would need a thousand gold to get a plus one, and then more money. And then it would need. Fire resistance, which is way out of your price range. Okay, never mind then. Yep. He, he Isn't that like eighteen thousand gold? Number and Kaven just, it uh, is literally eighteen thousand gold. Kaven's oh, arms okay. kind of go wide. And... Are we done shopping? Okay. I'm sorry, Josh. Are, are we done shopping? Like, does anyone else want to? Yeah. Do, do you guys want to? I mean, there's not much else here you can afford from his shop. Oh, do you want to nice. visit other shops quick? And Sorry. by that I mean I will post you what they have, and you can just look. Oh, uh, that'd be nice. I would like to kill some things for more money. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's why. That's why I want to go to the castle and then move on from town, basically. Right. Not, and not to drag yeah. us out for shopping, but Kevin wants to get some kind of newer, over over uh, garment. Oh, Kevin wants to look pretty. Durian has a nice cloak. Amrith has her cleric vestments. Kaven's yeah. beginning to feel a bit a bit out of place with this. Not out of place, okay. but how, he's, how, so he's, how he I, looks. You guys have a few hours before you can meet the prince anyway, so do you get some nice clothing, maybe wash up a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, let's not go nice clothing, but something better than what he has. I mean, I'm sure what he yeah. has right now is ragged and... Your your clothing's yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. Um. So why don't you get some... Mm. Uh, you could get cold weather. No, 
you could get a uh, nice explorer's outfit, which is uh, sturdy boots, uh, leather breeches, belt, shirt, uh, gloves, cloak. Um. Aragorn. That sounds. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that sounds you right could get, It's basically line. nice leather clothing, and it would be brand new. So. Sounds good. Cool. Ten gold. Easy peasy. Do it. Okay. By it way, still has that oh that new leather smell. Okay, well K- before Kevin buys it, then yes. with a few hours, then he goes back, cleans stuff up a little bit, then puts it on. Excellent, good choice. <laughs> you Trash. are now cleaned up and smelling nice <laughs> <Better>. instead of <laughs> usual, and uh, you've got some nice new leather on. Sounds good. Looks good. Also, quick good. question, Travis: yes. What level is Sebastian? You have no way of knowing that. Ask him next That's time. a super metagamey <laughs> thing to ask. Yeah. What, have, have he, have also, you, you do know that he was on his travels. Yeah. It's probably not in we, town anymore. We did know that he healed, like, bones and stuff at the, uh... uh yeah. I mean, not that... I guess that's metagamey to, like... Say, oh, what you you that? know that he obviously is healing magic. He's a cleric, not just in name, but in magical ability as well. You okay. do know that. I was going to see if I could take him as a cohort, but I guess he he's probably too high a level for that. Okay. I, I can't comment on that. That's fine. That's why... And he's on his travels anyways. I'd have to, like, go find him somewhere. Yep, there's not a label that says level four. Well, I mean, te- <laughs> technically I could send out my one hand thing. I forget what it's called. My... Helping hand? Uh, maybe... Don't I'm we, we have Jeeves to mess with the dragon, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jeeves can't go that far. I have like a magical hand that I can send out, but I don't remember. What it's it's called. helping a, hand. It's got a range of like yards. Five miles. Five miles. Five miles, the which hand? would not get you to any of the nearest towns. Dang it! Okay, I would never find him. Okay. Yeah, in a in a day of travel, you go something like twenty four miles. Oh, so, sad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You could find Fire him if he's fast. in town. Well, no, it probably couldn't. You said he's not in the though. capital. You could go ask the uh, people where he went. You could definitely do that. But then I'd still have to go find him, and he's probably really far away, versus people that I could find in the town to recruit. You never so, know. I, I never rolled know. for it. I know the answer. Yeah. Well, aren't you special, Travis? <laughs> I am. I'm the DM. <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Can we get to the castle yet? We are. Yeah, so you... So. Sure. Yep, Caben gets cleaned up. I assume you all spiff yourself up to, to meet the mm-hmm. Obviously. Put on my cleric specimens, all fancy. Excellent. So you guys clean up as best you can, get on your nicest clothing, and head to the castle. Uh, the guard um, nods at you as you see, he sees you approaching. says, ah, yes, the, the prince will see you now. And uh, please, follow me. And he leads you into the castle and uh, brings you to a waiting room. Same room you met him in the first time, uh, Durian. Mm -hmm. And says, the prince will be along momentarily. And after a short wait, uh, Prince Lewis comes in. Says, ah, excellent, I I was hoping to see you again. Uh, Yes, you you, guards, you can wait out there, please. Thank you. I I give a bow. I also bow. Ah, yes. Thank you, um... First, I must say I'm saddened and somewhat disturbed to hear of Oren's passing. Uh, I got some details from, well, from Lord Beric and and uh, and uh, heard the account that they took down. Please, by all means, if if it would not pain you too greatly, tell me what happened. So, I, I, will, say, say. I will say the. For uh, brevity's sake, should we assume yeah, Prince Lewis, uh, basically I say the... We do not... It, it, it was hard, um, and from what we understand, the, the tale that... Speaking to Lord Beric himself is not the tale we would have told in the future of Prince Orin. And I tell Caban to relate the the uh, activities of that night, basically, and our intentions. Cool. And Caban, can I assume you... I, I relay it. 
<laughs> okay, just completely. Words happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, I try to paint it more along the lines of we yeah, were looking that's... for a fight when we actually probably were. Yeah. But I, I try to like paint it that way. Cool. So, um, all right. He kind of nods and says, "Well, you were." Trying to do good work, uh, tracking down a notorious murderer. I understand you got him in the end, but uh, I'm, again, quite sad and, and a bit disturbed to hear of Orin's passing. I. It was a shock, my prince, uh, and... Yes, I, I would have hoped a foreign prince in a foreign land, well, it's, it's never good to have a foreign prince die on your lands, and it's... Uh, I would have hoped he would have been more cautious, but, but <laughs> um, alas, it is it is what it is. And I, again, my my deepest condolences. Obviously, you were his friends. You had been traveling with him for some time, and I'm, I'm sure the the five of you were all quite close. And, well, um, with him gone, obviously, well, first of all, Lord Beric did not speak for the crown. I. I understand my brother would likely have revoked uh, the the notes giving you special privileges and, and explaining that Prince Oren would take responsibility for your actions. However, I'm sure I would have been able to talk to him and convince you that uh, convince him that if you were still willing to do uh, good work for this nation that you should of course be given whatever assistance we can provide <sighs> my brother has been occupied as of late we see troops marching on the roads and hear of similar actions on the uh, across the border yes well the dragons destroying mines on the dragons uh, uh, a dragon, a dragon. <laughs> you know, only one, I hope. <laughs> but uh, a dragon destroying mines in in Taurus, orcs destroying villages here in Palatinus, each side blaming the other. I uh, I can understand why people are upset, but uh, well, my brother is is a great warrior, but he's never been one for politics. I. I have given him my counsel, and he is proceeding the way he is proceeding. My Prince Lewis, I will say that we sought an audience from you today because I knew Prince Oren and myself found your counsel to be wise, and you took our word and um, gave us purpose. And this is a purpose that my friends and I would not give up we sought this audience with you because we felt that um, the king, as he's looking out for the good of his kingdom, would not be diverted from what he thought was best. But that said, I would have you know that we seek to undermine and hopefully to destroy this Recumen, the Red, because we see it as the primary threat to all peoples in the region. I see. Well, I... I can't argue with your logic. I I would implore you, of course, to help against the orcs and goblins plaguing our own land, sure. but I do understand that a dragon presents a more persistent threat, and certainly one that could affect both nations, something my... Well, my brother is fond of saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, it's the dragon has so far only attacked Horus, and my brother has taken note. Interesting. Yes, well... My prince, I... I would not seek, it is neither my place nor my expertise to dabble in the politics of ruling a nation nor the nobility. So I cannot, perhaps, would not be my place to offer anything to you in this situation. You... Understandable. If you don't mind me saying and being so form or informal, you have a seem to have a good head on your shoulders, and I find myself comforted in your wisdom. So, the best I think we can do is to perhaps do what we do best, which is slay evil beasts, and that's what we would seek to do. And in this quest, if there's anything you and your power could provide us, 
we would be most grateful. Well, you say you are looking to fight the dragon. Hmm. Fight the dragon, and we believe in doing so, restore some passivity into the goblins and orcs that are now bereft of their homeland and seeking retribution and plunder. Yes, well, after they destroyed that village by Elfgard, uh, anything that can get them back into the mountains would be great. The village by Elfgard, you say it's been destroyed. Yes. Uh, Silvish. Yes, thank you, the the Grey Elf village. It was... I'm, I'm afraid it was leveled a couple of days ago. We just got word today. We that know the, the oh shit faces good. on everybody here right now. <laughs> uh, except Nina, he's like, uh, what? That's what? not good at all. Still did. End what? of the end of the emissaries from the village. Uh, oh, no. I believe there are diplomats who are here in town. Did they? I I have no idea. We we just heard that the the village was raised and that were there were few survivors. Um, oh, whoever snap. was whoever was there was uh, evacuated to Elfgard and oh, no. uh, the the walls there held against the attack. But there have been raids on the roads. Uh, several other attacks on nearby towns. Uh, I believe Pale Garden was hit. The not more than a, a large farming village and took some heavy losses. And no! I believe High Cliff was, was also affected, though. Uh, the they have at least a wooden knowledge. wall to defend them. Was it just orcs? Orcs, goblins, riding on wargs. There were, as far as I know, a couple of ogres with them. Or a few ogres, I wouldn't presume to say only two. Um, There's no good. Has has the king responded? Yes, soldiers were sent south to, uh, well, to um, to rebolster the cities around there to make sure that Pale Garden and and uh, Elfgard and of course High Cliff were uh, regarrisoned. Um, soldiers were also to sent to the front in case, as my brother believes, these attacks were coordinated by Taurus to draw troops away. Um, but yes, aid has been sent and. Uh, They'll do what they can. Cabin's okay. leaving this, us now. This, this news comes dear to us, whether I can't remember if we told you or not, but the the town of Silvish we came across in as merchant guards in, in happenstance and came across a party of orcs that had captured the town and we I see. slew them and defended the town and this is grave news to hear that it is once again I must. Yes, I. I must say, I'm surprised. I, as I understood it, you got information from a goblin that you had rescued from the kobolds. In yeah, itself, this, a noble act, of course. If, if, and this, as you said, they were threatening the kingdom as well. Yes, that. I would say that we we took him for his information and left as neutral foes in the battlefield. He. His interests and ours did not conflict at the time, and his his movements on the battlefield would not matter much. But I was given to understand that the goblins and orcs were seeking to gather to perhaps try and reclaim, reclaim their homeland, but apparently they have turned their eyes to other prey. Well, if, uh, if this goblin was your ally, apparently he... Likely had no had had not much say in what they did. He was Take only it. a scribe. Hmm. But that said, I this has shocked us all, and I will go out on a limb here on my own without consulting my friends and say we we seek to undermine and destroy the dragon, which we believe to be the source of all of this conflict, not Taurus, and certainly not Palatinus. And uh, what other things may come first beforehand? Is there something you would advise us to do or to seek out that would perhaps help stabilize the situation? I'm not sure what else I can tell you. Once our uh, soldiers regarrison the city, they should be more easily defended against attack. I, 
Unless the goblins and orcs grow even more bold, then I feel that those cities would be well defended, especially with the reinforcements my brother sent. Mm. They were sizable. I, I must, as much as it pains me, concur with your assessment. I believe the dragon may be the real threat, and, well, if we can eliminate that threat, then perhaps sure. we can get the goblins and orcs back where they are, whether or not my brother seeks retribution after they relocate to the mountains. We I cannot tell the future, but a show of strength of would not. perhaps be good. Uh, a final request. Is there no you of anyone who perhaps would be of a similar mind of us, a, an adventurer or someone who perhaps would be interested in joining in this noble quest? I must say I meet very few adventurers. I know many soldiers and generals, but they will follow my brother's orders to a T, especially with his past heroics. Understandably so. And uh, he is keeping all active hands, defending his cities and bolstering his borders and uh, manning his ports. I'm not sure I could convince him to spare anyone of significant skill. Understood. I can, however, if you are seeking the dragons, are... Well, the castle has made a recent purchase from some of the local mages. I can hopefully provide a, a couple of things that may help you. Hmm. Prince Please, Lewis, this uh, would be most, most beneficial to us. Do you like help? What's that? Uh, yes. Do you uh, like help? <laughs> let's, um... Wait here. Let me see what I can do. I take it I had a good conversation with him, Travis, and I didn't need to no. roll diplomacy at any point. Not at all. Not at all. Role playing always beats. Uh, always it's beats rolling. Cool. So he uh, he exits the room. Um, a uh, I, I an quickly... attendant quickly comes in with some refreshments, some water, some wine. Oh. Uh, cheese and bread and... <laughs> Kate was like, ooh! <laughs> I, I quickly <laughs> say to them, express concern for Tarias and Nephany. Yes. Uh, and the name of the guy who is in charge of the town. Lorazai. Lorazai, that's right. You remember because he gave you a shiny magical rod. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. Um, don't worry, Durian. I am preparing something that will hopefully bring them to us if they're anywhere near us. Hopefully. Mm. I hope they're to, still near. We might have set off for the remains of Sylvish that I, hearing I fear they were. I hope not. Man. Mm. Mm. Uh, try us, Nemini. Should we pick Lewis's brain about the rift? Mm. Mm. I don't. We asked him when we were last here, Kevin. Oh, we did. He, okay. I was in there. No, Oren and I spoke to him about it. He found the idea a good one, but did not have any in direct intelligence. Okay. I, at this point, I don't know. I, if Everything is pointing either toward the mountains or towards these orcish hordes. To be honest, I want to go make my way over to Silvish and kill all those orcs. I am completely too. okay with that. I am not very happy right now. I would... But it I, sounds I, like that the survivors have been evacuated and there's I feel like there's nothing else we can do for them, but I, I, I just want to go kill them all. <laughs> Your bloodlust like, frightens me, I just me, want to kill them. <laughs> he is. He's a little bit bloodlust oh. right now. No, oh, that's, that's awesome. Uh, He's looking nonchalant about it, though. He's like, I just want to kill everybody. So after about 10 or 15 minutes, actually, the, the prince comes back and uh, dismisses the attendant and um, kind of looks at you all and says... These, if anyone asks, these were a personal gift from me. And he pulls out of his robes, actually, a <laughs> pair of potions and hands them to Durian because he met you before and you've been doing most of the talking. They're not the dragon's these are... weapons? <laughs> <laughs> They're not the dragon's <laughs> weapons. It's dragon's he says, weapons. these are potions of fire resistance. They oh, should be yes. helpful for you. That's helpful. Uh, Thanks. If, if if you do get in a fight. Um, again, if anyone asks, these are a gift from me. Make sure no one asks. 
<laughs> I know yeah, this yeah. thing discretion, my prince, and... I just nod Very my good. head. Very good. I wish You're I could give here. you more help, but anything more significant would be missed. Understood. This is a big help. We, we will um, hope so. not take up more of your time. Um, Please. Your, advi your advice has been good, and we have some decisions to make about our direction, whether it is towards the we east do. to investigate the orcs, try and locate their army, or to the west directly. I have a feeling we should go west, though, friends. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a smart choice, but I like it. I just I'm still angered over this news. I am as well, Caven. We will. Well, it, it gives us something to make sure that we survive to deal with afterwards. You didn't know this them, is... Lena. L Nina. <laughs> no, but they said <laughs> Lena. I don't know why you're saying Lena. I I, I, I must say I I hope your friend survived. We do too. Most certainly do. It sounds like you, these guys meant something to you, like a lot. Obviously, yes. They, um, um, they do. I I say, by Prince, my friends are distraught. We will not take any more of your time. Thank you for your audience and for remembering Orin fondly for all his brashness and his his nobility was always more than his faults. Yes, he, he seemed a good man looking to do good in the world. I'm sad to hear of his passing. And The prince stands up and clasps you each on the hand and says, Good luck to you all. I hope to hear from you soon. Please, if uh, if you have any information, let me know. We will we will send what word we can. Very good. Give him an elf nod. One and a half times more effective than a normal nod. Mm. Very well, and you <laughs> proceed out. Uh, Our guard leads you back to the gate. So, Travis, I have a yes. question about potions, actually. Are these yes. protection from energy or resist energy? Uh, I'm going to have to look. I don't I don't even remember. There, yeah, there, there's, there's one that's a solid damage reduction and one that just absorbs so many points. Yeah, I think it's like no fire oh. damage for five days after you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite that. I'll have to look because he yeah. he just said... Anti-fire potions. The prince didn't seem to know exactly what they were. Sure. But I'll look, and you got two of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we're going to head to... Uh, oh, God, I'm going to butcher her pronunciation again. Uh, Mizuchi? Yes. I guess that, that was, was That question. sounds right. I say, um, do you, do you wish to seek aid first in... Uh before we give our answer to Mizuti, Amaranth? Um, I, I kind of think that we should look for people to help us before we go against a dragon. I think we should try and find one or two more people to join us. I don't think this is going to be easy, and we could probably use all the help we can get. To be fair... And I don't think we also have a lot of time, Eva. I, I am more of Nina's mind at this point. We are committed and... I can't the imagine is, take the that world much is time. destabilizing more as we talk, and I only get these noble urges in my blood every once in a while, and I follow them when I can. <laughs> noble urges in your blood? Okay. I don't want to know about those urges. <laughs> All right, so let's let's put a start. notice on the notice board of the town. So Travis, to accelerate things, I think yeah. we go we go uh, to see Mizuti first. Cool. Right, so you? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You guys meet up with uh, Mizuti, and um, uh, you guys get there probably early afternoon. Uh, bartender said she had stepped away, but she told him to let him know that she'd be back soon. You guys wait around for 15, 20 minutes, have a drink, and uh, Mizuti returns and sees you and quickly heads over. Ah, hello again. Oh, the voice oh, decided... Mizuti, I think we have, and we are for this venture, but I have to say we are interested in seeking help and are pulling our contacts around town to do so. It would, it would be helpful to know amongst ourselves what skills your experience brings to the table. Hmm. I can manage a bit of magic, as well as some more martial skills. I feel like we still need more people. I'm not saying that I don't think that you are a worthy opponent for a dragon, Mizuti, 
However, I know I how to fight them. I feel well, like we need more people. I don't. I don't want any of us to lose our lives. Is what I'm saying. Well, I, if I guess you are question. not willing to sacrifice your life fighting a dragon, then you should not fight one. Survival is never guaranteed when you fight, and against a dragon, doubly so. Oh, you have that nice claw that you showed us. How many people were with you when you killed its mother, was it? Its mother was a hundred feet long, and we lost twenty good men. Do you think we could take this smaller one with five? If what I understand to be true is true, and this is the dragon that escaped us, he is no more than eight or ten feet tall. So how many I people think, do you think we need? I think the five of us could him. kill him. His army? That is another question. Mm. Mm. I have not fought many of these kobolds before. <sighs> this woman. <laughs> Alright. The kobolds we have, we have slain many of, and while they are numerous and wily, they're, they tend to rely on their numbers more than their skill at arms. Yes. I see. And then an obvious to... strategy would be to to separate the dragon from his followers. It's... If we can manage that. They also that tend to flee awesome. after you kill their bigger lizard men. Excellent. Then we target the largest ones first. Sounds like a plan. Mizuti, I think we are in and we will work over the next day or two perhaps to rally any other help we can, but... Of course, Amrith, we do not need to set off today. We are, Amrith, I think we are committed at this point, and waiting it does nobody any good. <sighs> oh, let's just say that we need some more people, and we should find them as soon as possible, is what I believe. We're relying on all of our, all of our skills and experience to try and rally people to our cause. Yes. But you mentioned the royalty before. Perhaps you should speak to them. They may provide some soldiers. They're very far away and would not make it in time. I, I'm not um, sure I understand. I thought it was the the king. Amrith. Yeah. Oh, we did. Oh, I still haven't yeah. gotten. I still haven't gotten yeah. the story on this yet, Amrith. But I will say that. Yes, Mizuti, we just had an audience with the king's brother. The king is single-minded in seeing all threats from the neighboring kingdom of Taurus and not from... It's I believe the prince's words were, the king believes the enemy of his enemy, etc., of this dragon. Then the king is a short-sighted fool. Yeah, is, keep your voice down, he's quite popular around here, but we tend to agree. Yes, a fool that puts on a good performance can still be popular. Mm. But his brother, his brother, I find why we just met with, I find wise, and he gave us things to aid in our quest, but could not commit people, men at arms, men or women at arms. Ah, well, let us hope uh, the king takes his counsel more seriously in the future. Mizuti, okay. what what needs you to prepare for this journey? I am prepared already. I am I am willing to go whenever we need to depart. But if you want more days to look for people, I am not opposed to that. We need a few more days. We will seek some Very information well. and There's seek data. Maybe I shall keep my bags packed for whenever we are ready to leave. Sounds good, lady. Call morning on the third day. We will depart. That's just Very a saying well. among, our, among us <laughs> bard folk that an auspicious time we will depart. So interesting. Well, <laughs> I shall see you here then. Yes, we will. I will, in the interim time, to give you a better idea about when our how our progress is going. I will come back nightly around this time, or perhaps an hour or two later, and. We will perhaps discuss strategy. That would be most appreciated. Okay. I shall see you then. So we depart, Travis, to go cool. 
Make to go Mary... recruit some people before we go to fight yeah. the dragon. <laughs> I know, Amber. Hey, it's you. Hey, you just a leader. By all means, go recruit him. But, uh, Amber, I... praise, praise yeah, him. Praise yeah. Coralon. Praise him. Well, it's it's night time. Right? It's getting to night time, right? Do we want to try the first what? wave of advertisement? It's afternoon. Yeah. yeah. You can. Nina, you know, know. What, is your, what you whispered to me just now, Nina? I have no better ideas, and my hips are not as good looking as your hips. So. <laughs> Durian's hips okay. don't lie, though. So, this is gonna be, you realize this is gonna be lie. Right? His hips may lie, but his milkshake. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Are is not shake. runny like those shitty ones in Australia. Where's the fish steaks that are with anyone? Um, oh, this I'm be too drunk for this. Right? God. Cool. So, yeah. Amareth, you uh, yeah. are the one seeking to recruit followers, or yeah, I don't a... actually really know how the leadership feat works out well. So uh, it well. Do you, know well... <laughs> oh, do, do, do um, you want to try that uh, method first? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I mean, God, we have like, was it? it three days? <laughs> Nina, I will play. I will play the loot for you. <laughs> yeah, we have three days. We can try it. For oh, um, for those of us watching, this is the picture yeah, that I was just posted. Already. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it makes me want to cry every time I see it. <laughs> Cool. So, you, uh, where is the first place Amareth would go to seek followers? I would go around the Temple of Coralon the Rusty, and I would not go specifically Excellent. into the temple because I don't think that's the right thing to do to cool. Very go straight good. in. You are at the Temple of Coralon the Rusty. Yes. Caben, stop pulling up your coding and stuff. Gosh, I keep seeing it on the stream. I know, I just forgot. Saying. That's just the chat, it's not my coding. Oh, it's, it's the chat. Oh, it's geez. totally your code. It's like code from a <laughs> I am broadcasting right. my secret coding. Secret code. Cool. You are at the Temple of Coralon Lorethian. I'm not inside of it, though. I'm around it. So You're I would be it. looking for people who... I, like I said, I have no idea how the leadership beat really works. Um, but I would be looking for people that look like they could fight, um, look like they're possible followers of Coralon, so elves or half-elves specifically. Yeah. Um, so perhaps people with long swords or people who look like magic users, clerics. They have cleric specimens, maybe. Um. Okay. All right. So you sit around outside and you're looking for martial-looking people, people that you think look like they can handle themselves. You Basically, see several yeah. elves go in and out of the temple, but they all seem to be in civilian clothing. Uh, you do see some people in robes, but they're not like vestments that you would okay. recognize. Um, robes are a pretty common mode of dress yeah. in these times. So, um, yeah, you um, you wait for how long? Um, I would probably wait as long as it takes to at least find at least one or two possible people. Um, What's the max time that you wait? Well, Durian said three days, correct? <laughs> You like can't that. vote for three days. <laughs> I, well, no, no I'm, sa I'm just saying, like, I would come back if need. Yeah. So I would probably come back the next day. If I didn't find anyone today, I would come back the next day to see if I can find someone. How long do you stay today is what I'm asking. It's late um, afternoon. Until I was really hungry and wanted dinner, basically. So probably a little bit later into the night, probably like nine. Okay. Um, you stay till nine. Waiting, and being creepy. And yep. stuff. You, well, I mean, you're <laughs> cleric vestments. So I, people. I assume you're probably just greeting people as they come in. You're hey, in cleric yeah. vestments. I you're, feel like you're, a Walmart greeter. Is yeah, me. yeah. I'm a Coraline greeter is what yeah, I Yeah, Mikhail <laughs> actually comes out and says hello to you, and uh, yeah. you're, you're kind of doing a little preaching outside. And awesome, he's all for that. And uh, in five hours, you see no one. No oh, one with different. a weapon, basically. Okay. Um, I would assume this is like when I said I would stop. Yes, it's been okay. five hours. <laughs> I would probably feel a little bit defeated, and go back probably. to the inn to get food and wait to start the next day. Uh, I'd probably be a little bit grumpy and not talk so mm -hmm. much about it with the group. So. Oh, well, funny you should say that. Can we do something while she's trying to recruit people while she's trying to recruit people? Yeah, absolutely. She's gone for five hours. What do you do in the meantime? Hey, so, Durian. You ready for this one? Oh, oh God. No. 
Shall I play it? Uh, wait, 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 guys. First of all, are we able to go for another hour? No, I think no, we have a hard no. stop tonight. I have to. I have like training in... all day at work tomorrow that I can't. Sure, sure. So what are we looking? 10, 15 minutes. Fourteen. Uh, yeah, about fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay, very good. I have good. to be up by six and be at work before eight a.m. So. No problem. <laughs> cool. So what do you guys do at the tavern? In the remaining five Nina, hours. Nina, just, just lay it I out. Him, I'm with you. Yeah, okay, so this is the plan, Travis. Mm -hmm. I'm going to perform. Durian's going to, like, we're going to do the duet thing. I guess the first question is how oh, are we going man. to do the uh, duet? <laughs> uh, do we just add our scores and do one good roll, or are we all. Well, yeah, I mean, you you each give me an individual role. Durian plays a well known song, but you have amnesia, so that doesn't fucking work. I play, <laughs> I play a sexy dance song. Play some building. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Durian plays some some upbeat music and you dance to it. Very simple. Yeah. Uh and the, the idea is we, we wanna go find a tavern that would have like a lot of adventure type, so I don't think the roasted quail is It's a end. high the roasted quail is a higher end place for more merchants. Yeah. So you guys we, go yeah. to... We go to a rougher bar where merchants yeah. guard. Oh, good. yeah, you totally find one. Oh, I plenty, of, okay. plenty of people yeah. with weapons. R and Jesus, be with and me. Then, and then so, uh, uh, after the uh, song, basically, or the duet, I'm yeah. going to make it a type thing. Durian plays you have to sing, Nina. You just sing. No, 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 she's dancing. She doesn't she's have dancing. to sing. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I can do it. So, so. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Here's well, my... give me give me one of your performances and tell me what you're doing. Dance. Uh, Has well... Dinku Nuts Palace been playing the whole time? No. I haven't even heard it. I haven't heard, heard, it. I haven't heard yeah. it. Okay, good. Oh, okay, Jimmy, it's the same role we cover, so you just want to do dance or do you want to do song dance? Uh, I think I think dance. you should dance, I should play a tune. That's what we discuss. <laughs> okay. Yeah. D20 okay, so I, I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll it. RNG Jesus, be with me. There you go. You Go ahead. Oh, not bad. Yes. Nice. Not bad. Yeah. So you uh, you put on a little uh, little music and dance, and people are. Let's see. Yeah. So the shit. the bar was quite packed. You have uh, a bunch of cheering, jeering, drunken men of uh, various states of drunkenness, and uh, you seem to be garnering a lot of interest. You guys earn a good amount of money, actually, with your. Sweet. Forces combined. Double twenty plus one. I give me a, a, a discreet nod of. So do I, do I add seven hundred gold or eight hundred to my character sheet? Uh, you earn two, four, eleven, fourteen, uh, fifteen. Is that a nine? It is. You earn twenty-four gold. A piece. Total. Twelve each. Okay, so just twelve each quickly. Um, and then I guess I do my announcement, so, uh, this is going to be really interesting. So, oh, after, sure. after after the performance ends and I do my little bow, I'm going to say... Dance again! Dance again! I say, Nina, uh, the there, play the music good! Make the pretty girl dance! Na yeah. Nina oh, the okay. mag Magnificent, ladies and gentlemen. Magnificent hips! Uh, oh, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make my hands and I'll be oh, like, God. "Damn, she's Ladies got some muscular thighs." Ah. A word of your time, please. I, I basically wait for them to um stop being rowdy. Ah. I guess. Well, it's it. a rowdy place. You're not gonna yeah. get complete silence. Just say your no, piece, as, as Nina. As as you can do it. Can. No, Nina, just just shout out. Yeah. Gold. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right. Um. Naval adventurers. Me and my companions are about to set on a noble quest and are looking for more to join us. <laughs> How noble, honey! Slay <laughs> guess, great... guess you'll have to tag along to find out, friend. Yeah, I we, shall. We can't, we, we can't give them. A, I'll give them. Bait, I'll walk so. behind her. <laughs> we you have room behind. We have room in front. I'll take the front. Oh, the awkward. <laughs> this isn't working. Is it? No. Shit. I, I say, Nina, let, let's 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 play another tune. See if we can continue to get their interest. Yeah, uh, more music. Woo! Oh, I, I play another play another flute tune. Very good. Not as good though. She dances. But Nina's well. dancing is still pretty good. So they're yeah. they're happy. They're they're happy with this. You guys earn some more gold, and uh, 
Yeah, so what do you guys do? So I, I, I go back to my thing. I'm trying to recruit people for a noble quest this way. A, a Nina powerful... is using her hips to, to recruit men. Nina. Before she speaks again, I say, Nina, come here. And I whisper to her, I say, tell them I I, I have a, a quest to to win my hand and for great riches. To forget oh, the noble God. part. They don't want to hear about nobility. Just say it. But what happens if we actually succeed? I don't want to. But that's that's then we'll weed them out afterward. Oh god, you all froze. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Durian offers yeah. up his sister. Cool. So <laughs> there's there's a lull as you guys uh, finish your second performance. What do you do? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sorry, I don't say ladies. Gentlemen, <laughs> noble adventurers. There is. <laughs> Well, I'm uh, an adventurer. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite when I'm saying it, Travis. Yeah. Right there. Continue on. Uh, Keep talking. I don't think they care. No. Come on, Nina. We do it. A giant, we want a quest to slay a giant beast, and perhaps my hand is. I'll well. show you a giant beast. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I, I, I feel like I'm one of you. Too much girl and girl and take a little off. As, she, as she's jeered, I step forward and I say, Friends, thank you for your time. We have no more songs for you, but I will say that the fair company of Nina is available in gold in the offing if you will come see us tomorrow eve at the Roasted Quail. Oh, I might stop in. She doesn't look broken in yet. <laughs> Did you see Nina just you, like... You basically just <laughs> offered her up as a prostitute, so yeah. You yeah. got a couple of... Uh, yeah, you get a couple of guys approach you right away, like, hey, I'll take her tonight if you're interested, honey. Come I up did. to my room. No, no, you talk to me. We're not talking about anything untoward. We're just saying if you want us 